Hey art friends, today we're drawing another spider. A wolf spider. Yes, a really scary wolf spider. Yeah. <laughs> we hope you're gonna follow along. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use a marker, but you can use whatever you have at home or in your classroom. You also need some? Paper and something to color with. Yeah, you're ready to start. Yes. Let's first start with our spider's body. And instead of it being called a thorax, I think it's called a cephalothorax. Cephalothorax. Yeah, it's kind of hard to say. And I think that's also because it's combined with its head. So let's first draw an upside down U shape. It kind of looks like a square U shape with rounded corners, <laughs> a flat spot in the middle. Okay, now let's draw an outside. We're gonna draw from here on the left. We're gonna come out, we're gonna curve around and then back in. And I'm gonna repeat that same shape on the other side. Curve out and back in. So already starting to look creepy. And then, <laughs> now right here, let's draw a curve that connects those two together, those two lines. And then we're gonna draw the abdomen. We're gonna come around like this, draw a big U shape coming down, back up, and then connect in. Got a little wobbly over here, that's okay. <laughs> We're practicing, right? Yes. <laughs> and we could also draw the spinnerets down here. I'm gonna draw two U shapes right next to each other. Let's also draw the eyes. I'm gonna draw two ovals, one on the left, also on the right. They have a lot of eyes, so I'm gonna try to add two more ovals. And then I think there's also one that's up here on the top. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and now I'm grossing out. <laughs> Next, let's draw the fangs where they have two little U-shapes right here. I think these are called Shayla Siray, Siray's. I I think. I think. <laughs> I think so, yeah. I'm not positive. We don't know all of the different parts. We'll call them fangs. Okay. Now, I do know that the next part we're going to draw is called the pedipalps. And they're, they look like little arms that are coming out. So I'm going to draw an S curve. A curve out, back in, and then back out. Then we're going to curve around on this top part and come back into the head. And we'll do the same on the other side or the thorax, the cephalothorax. Now we're ready to draw the legs. We're gonna draw the first leg over here on the left. We're gonna come up, curve around, and then back in. So we got the first segment to our spider, and they have a lot of segments. So we're gonna draw the next one up a little higher, curve around, they look like tall, skinny, upside down U's. Let's add two more. We're gonna draw one about this size, and then we're gonna draw one that's a little longer. And then we're gonna draw two more. We're gonna draw one about this size. And then this last one, I'm gonna draw kind of pointy at the end. There we go. Now let's draw another one on the other side. And when we're drawing these segments, I'm trying to draw them all this about the same width. So it doesn't look too bumpy. So now we're gonna draw the longer one that comes up higher, curve back down. Ooh, that one got really thick. That's okay. Now let's keep going. We're gonna draw another U shape. This one's a little smaller. Then we're gonna draw a tall one. And then I'm gonna draw another one that's kind of a medium shape. And then the last one is pointed for the foot. Now if we ever go too fast, remember you can pause the video. And we are gonna go a lot faster on some of these steps because we're repeating the first step. So. We're gonna draw the next leg, and we're drawing that first segment that comes out of the thorax, the cephalothorax. Then we're gonna draw another upside down U. Now this one I'm gonna bend, and we're gonna draw it coming up. I'll draw it a little longer. And this one's gonna be a lot longer. And one more right at the end. And the last one, we're gonna draw pointy. Let's repeat that same step over here on the right, but let's aim it going a different direction so that it's not in the exact same spot. So this time I'm gonna draw, I'm kind of pointing out to the side. Then this next one is a lot longer. Come out. 
Then we're gonna add three more kind of medium size segments. So one, two, three. And then the last one is pointed. How many legs do we have left to draw? Four. Yeah, we have two more on each side for a total of eight. Let's draw our next leg coming straight out to the side. So this one, I'm gonna we'll draw that first segment coming out of the cephalothorax. Then we'll draw the next one that's kind of longer. And then I'm gonna bend this one going up. So we're gonna draw three more segments that are kind of medium sized. So, well, we got this one, two, and then three. And then the last one, that little pointy foot. Nice, let's do that same thing on the right. We're gonna draw it coming straight out to the side. So we got the one coming out of the body and then we're gonna draw the next one that's kind of longer. And then we got three more medium sized ones. One, two, three, and then a point for the foot. Really looks like we're drawing a tarantula. Yeah. Okay, now let's draw two more, one on each side. This time we're gonna aim it going down. This one, let's kind of curve this way. So I'm gonna curve it down, curve around, and then back in. Oh. <laughs> now we're gonna draw three more segments and the back leg is a lot longer. So we're gonna draw these a little longer. This one I'm gonna draw even longer. And then we got one more that's really long. And then the foot right at the end, pointy foot at the end. Now let's do the same thing on the right side. We'll draw that first short segment coming out. And then we can draw that next one that curves and around back in. Then we'll draw the three more segments that are long. Oh, I'm gonna draw them longer. <laughs> <laughs> one more that's really long. And then the pointed foot, I'm gonna aim it down. Oh, that's really gross. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our wolf spider. Well, we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but we're also gonna add texture and patterns to the body to make it look more like a wolf spider. Yeah. You ready to fast forward? Yes. We used our biennial markers to color our spiders. The first color we used is Y611 in case you have the same set that we have. Now before we use our black colored pencil, let's actually use our Y762. This is a dark brown. We're going to use this to add the texture on our spider first. Let's start here right next to the eye and we're going to draw, we could even draw it kind of wiggly for the hairy texture. <laughs> and then we're going to draw a wiggly line coming down there too. Now let's, on the outside of the eye, we're gonna draw another texture line that comes out to the side and we'll do the same thing. Now this one's kind of matching the outside shape of our cephalothorax. Now inside of this line, we're gonna color it in, but watch this, I'm gonna leave a little, little stripes of light brown in between going down the spider's back, like that. So we got these little stripes coming out. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side too. And you don't have to make them look exactly the same. They could be different on each side. I'm also gonna add another little stripe in between the side of the body and that first stripe that we drew. So one there, and also create that same stripe on the right side. I kind of did it by making long ovals, and some of them are connected together. That looks awesome, Jack, good job. Okay, now let's extend the stripe down into the abdomen, and we'll only go about halfway, and we'll do the same thing on the right side. Then in between these two lines, we're gonna draw a wiggly line going up, across and down. Looks like a wiggly upside down U. <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to color in the outside shape. We're gonna leave this inside shape light brown. 
and we'll go back over it, color it in. And it's okay if you leave some of the, if you don't color it in solid, you could leave some of that light brown peeking through so that it looks more natural or it looks more like fur. Yeah. Let's color the feet brown or this dark brown. So the tips of each of the feet we'll color in. And then I'm also going to add a little texture on that first segment that's right next to the body. You can kind of just scribble to make the texture. You don't have to worry about making it look perfect. Ooh, let's also, I'm going to add little spots on the next segment. So that long segment right after the first one, add little spots. This is fun. I love it when we don't have to worry about trying to, trying to make it look perfect. You just kind of add that natural texture. You can just scribble and add those little dots. Yes. Yes. Now let's switch to our black colored pencil. Let's go around on each leg and add little hairs sticking out and you can add them randomly. They don't have to be in any particular spot. I'm even going to come down a little further down the leg too. Next, let's move down here to the abdomen and we're going to create a shape right here on the back. We're going to go up and then back down. And I'm going to create another shape like that right below it. Maybe it's a little smaller. And I hope this shows up on the camera. We're using our black pencil on top of the dark brown, so it might not show up as well. But I'm going to add a little more of those upside down V shapes coming down and they get a little flatter towards the bottom. And we could even add little hairs on top of the dark brown. Then my favorite step to do when we're drawing insects and spiders is use our gray, our light gray, CG03, if you have the same set. We're going to use this to create a drop shadow or a shadow underneath our spider to make it look like it's standing on top of our paper. So I'm going to add a shadow right here. Maybe we could add another shadow on the other side of this leg too. We could even add shadows behind the pedipalps. All right, now I'm going to add another shadow below or next to this leg and also this leg on this side. And if you put it out, see how it's not, it's not touching the leg right here, but it's touching at the end yes. and also here at the body. This makes it look like the, the leg is bent. That makes sense. Which makes it look even more realistic. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this one I'm gonna come out too, out further like this and then come back in. So this one really looks like it's bent. Let's go through and add a shadow to each of the legs. Also, don't forget to add a shadow right below the abdomen, the back part of the body right here. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our wool spider. It looks so much better colored in. Yeah, it really does. I hope our art friends will take time to color their drawings also. It's crazy how just three colors, light brown, a dark brown, and a light gray can make your spider look super realistic. I especially like adding hair to the spider with the black colored pencil. Yeah, that makes it look super gross. <laughs> we hope you had a lot of fun drawing your wolf spider. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun and I'm sure your drawings turned out really cool. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.